Hi folks, thanks a lot for tuning in to the Goalie Llamas channel. I really appreciate it when you hit that like button and when you hit that subscribe button. It really helps my channel out a and lot. If you really don't like what I'm doing, don't worry about it. Hey folks, welcome to the channel. <laughs> Goalie Llama here after a nice bike ride on the electric 3.0 the XP model long range and um, so I wore the battery down pretty much and I hit the 250 mile mark on this bike and everything is looking good um, I've made a few brake adjustments and brake cleanings, chain cleanings, a little derailleur adjustment um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to charge the battery back up on the bike as well as show you some of my power options inside the house. So here we go. And as you've all seen before, here is my current battery stack. Uh, right now, I have the TV, a fan, uh, the cable box hooked up. I'm only running the cable box. Let me turn on this uh, E600 LFP here because that's what I'm going to use to charge the bike battery today. And we'll see what kind of drain and time I get on that thing. Um, but I'm going to go hook up some solar so I can bring this thing up to snuff. We got a cloudy day here on the Space Coast, so I'm no, probably not going to pull much in via solar, but I'll take what it gives me. Thank you, son. So, as you can see, we got some passing clouds going on, which is fine. I'll still gather some solar. And this front panel here is getting the full benefit of the sun at this time of day not that strong and the other one is getting a partial look at it I have both of these panels hooked together right here with that connection and I got these nice flat cables recommended by my buddy John Mal um, so I can keep the window closed during the during the charging process. I probably won't get a lot today, but I'll get some. And you take what you can get in this life. Back inside. All right. Let's get the battery out, shall we? You may remember from past videos, I always go at it from the chain side and click. Oh, the key. Make sure the key is turned to the position where this little nub retracts into the body. Remove the key, put it someplace where I can remember where it is. At this stage in life, that's a crap shoe. Begin to unfold the bike. And this new battery, I haven't put any Velcro on it yet, so I'm going to crash it out. Electric's going to have to do something about that, I'll tell you right now. But I can completely fold the bike up now. Put the kickstand up and just stand it there until I reinsert the battery. One thing I'll do with this battery is I'll put some Velcro on the side. Like I have on this battery and that keeps it from rattling around and it also keeps it from sliding right out like you just saw. Gravity 
it's good it's good all the time gravity is good all the time now let's get over to the power station and hook this new battery up and charge her up so here's what I got going on here I got the electric e-bike battery ready to be plugged into the AC outlet on the E600 LFP. Um, here's the charger that comes with the batteries. I'm going to place this right up here. Plug her in. And as you can see, it's green. It just turned to red. Red indicates that it's pumping juice out to the battery. As you can see, there's 101 watts going from here to here. And I got about five and a half, five and three quarter hours left of the battery. It'll probably run this battery down pretty much to get a full charge. And the bottom here on the E2000 LFP. I got my solar coming in from outside. It's super cloudy out, so I'm not going to get a lot today. But right now the cable box alone is pulling 23 watts. I'm at 39% and I got 51 hours left. I'm going to plug in the uh, MPPT cable into the port and the sun begins to dribble into the station. As the sun rises higher, it's about 9 o'clock here on the East Coast, um, I will get more results. So. That's where we're at right now. 272 coming in at 908. Getting some good sun right now. Super happy with this on a partly cloudy day. More to follow. Thank you, Florida Sun. 304 watts coming in and counting. Sun's good. The suspense builds. Will the E600 LFP last long enough to recharge a pretty close to fully discharged electric battery? We shall see. There's only 15% left. Still cranking out 115 watts. 0.72 hours left. The suspense is killing me. Well, doesn't look like the E600 LFP is gonna complete a full charge. But the electric battery is a 48 volt, uh, 14 amp hour battery which is quite a lot of capacity. Um, I can go like 40 to 65 miles on it with nothing loaded on the bike and going pedal assist two and three so I don't know I'll let it run. Didn't make it. Switching down to the other system. And as you can probably see, the sunlight's variable. So we're getting various input from the solar panels, but it's doing a pretty good job. So I will recharge the E600 LFP tomorrow 
and I'll let this soak up the sun until I need to head out for the day. Well, I've actually got to disconnect because I got a little bit of thunder going on in the area here. Is evidenced by the radar. So I'm gonna go uh, bring my panels in before my batteries get zapped. Cheerio. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Peace.